What do you think of this pair of painted pottery horse and rider figures? And crucially, how much do you think they're worth? Well, before you make your mind up, let me tell you a bit about them. Right, here we have a pair of astonishing and mind-boggling blood-sweating horses. That's what they're referred to. And that's pretty special in itself, and they're dripping in character and personality. I mean, just take a look at them. But what's mega mind-boggling about these two horses and figures is their age. They're Chinese, and I can categorically tell you that they date to between 900 years old and 1,500 years old. And I have scientific proof. But over and above that, I think I can tie them down to a tighter time frame because these things scream the Tang Dynasty, which is 600 to 900 AD or thereabouts. So that's 300 time frame. And I can do that because of the style. You know, fashion. Fashion is nothing new. Fashion was, you know, high fashion during the Tang Dynasty. And these horses, these blood-sweating horses referred to as, were not Chinese horses. They were imports into China and they came originally, this breed, from the Middle East. So they are basically Arabian stallions. Just take a look at the bodies. They're big, powerful, strong and imposing. And the two riders here are sat on things, objects. Yes, they're horses, but they're things, objects of desirability and great value. So these things, these Arabian blood sweating horses were referred to in their day as exotic things to own. So not dissimilar to today, to owning an exotic car, a Lamborghini, a Rolls Royce. These Arabian horses here, these stallions were the equivalent of a Rolls or a Lamborghini and just as expensive. Before I tell you why they were made, what kind of person they were made for and what their function was, I'm gonna tell you how I can categorically prove that they are at least 900 to 1500 years old. So we've covered the Tang Dynasty. They're from that period, there's no doubt about it. But look at this. This is a document, right? Dated 2016 from the Oxford Authentication Company Limited. And these, th or rather this one in actual fact, just one of them has been tested scientifically using something called thermoluminescence. Now I'll do it again. Thermoluminance, thermoluminance, a thermoluminance analysis report. You can tell I never make a scientist. So they are pretty similar in their style, although there are some fundamental differences once you look very closely at them, and I'll get to that next. But let me just go back to this thermoluminescence analysis report. So this one here, the damaged one, he's had his head off, He's got a couple of holes in him in places, has been tested. And what they've done is they've taken a tiny minuscule sample from three parts of this piece. Uh, one, an area of the head, into the base, and into the body nearing the firing hole, so somewhere at the back of the horse. And they've tested these samples and they say that they all yielded similar results and that was that they were last fired so put in a kiln between 900 and 1500 years ago that is scientific proof that these things are ancient now just try and get your heads around that so a thousand, fifteen hundred years ago, here in Britain, it was the Anglo-Saxon period. And where I'm filming right now, just outside Barnard Castle, this, we were living under the Dane law after the Viking invasion. So when the Vikings were marauding across this land, these figures, horse and riders, were in existence. It's really hard to comprehend. 
in 1066 at the Battle of Hastings. These figures were here right throughout the medieval period. Think of Henry VIII later on, the Tudor period. These things were here. But let's now look at the differences in the figures themselves. So quite obviously they were made at the same time, probably by the same potter. So two big Ara Arabian stallions here. The figures look very similar, but take a close look at the facial features. This one here is much more feminine. Look at the eyes, the movement in the eyes, the slant, the red lips, the forehead area, the head gear is very different. It's a much more feminine figure. Now look at this fella, the guy that's had his head chopped off a couple of times and badly glued together. His brow is much bigger. The eyes are straighter. He's got a square head, a much more angular kind of masculine face. So although the bodies are quite similar and the dress is quite similar, the pose is almost identical, I think this one's female and this one's male. And often referred to as fat man and fat lady. I know, it sounds very un-PC, but that's just what they were referred to as because during the Tang Dynasty, it was fashionable for wealthy people to be plump. We, we say fat, they're not fat like we know fat today, just slightly overweight and well fed. So a sign of high status being a little plump. It was just fashionable. Now, what about the purpose then? Why were these things made, you know, maybe 1500 years ago? Well, they were made as tomb pieces, so made to be buried underground, which is why they've probably survived for such a very long time, because we don't know when they were unearthed from a tomb, but I'm guessing probably in the 19th century. So these things were buried for a thousand years or more before they were unearthed. So made to entertain to serve their master, the dead person, in the afterlife. So depicting two courtiers. Now these people you know, riding these high status animals were looking after a very high status person or rather the soul of the long gone person. That was just their purpose. That's what they did. And they did it very well for a good thousand years. But fast forward to today, 2021, how much would you have to pay to own a genuine pair of Chinese Tang Dynasty pottery painted horse and riders? Well, let me know in the comments down below if you get anywhere near this valuation. My valuation, the price I'm marketing this pair at right now is £2,000. Let me know what you think. How close did you get? to that figure. And most importantly, I want to thank you for watching this video and all the others I make. Don't forget to subscribe, please like and comment and all of that. So until next time, I'm David Harper. Thanks for watching. Cheerio.